Gold pushed above the key $1,400 psychological level on Monday to its highest in almost three months, putting the precious metal within striking distance of bull market territory. A combination of weak U.S. economic data on Friday and concerns about geopolitical tensions in the Middle East helped boost gold prices slightly above $1,400 in Asia on Monday, before pulling back slightly to around $1,400. That puts gold's gains from the lows hit in late June at about 19%, just shy of 20%, that would push bullion into bull market territory. Gold prices rallied more than 1.5% on Friday after news of a sharp drop in U.S. home sales prompted investors to rethink the potential timing for a much-anticipated unwinding in U.S. monetary stimulus. If bond markets start to indicate a delay in the scaling back of tapering by the U.S. Federal Reserve, that could be another factor driving gold higher. It wasn't too long ago that the gold market was well in bear territory, falling more than 30% between October and June, but analysts say Fed tapering is now largely priced into the market and that the positive sentiment towards gold is growing. One sign of that came in a report from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission on Friday. It showed that hedge funds and money managers boosted bullish bets in gold futures and options to their highest level since early February. Further weakness in the U.S. housing market triggered some downplay over the possibility of a QE tapering. So guys, what is your opinion about what is going to happen in early September when the Federal Reserve has to discuss whether or not they are going to taper QE or not? All of this bad economic data for the U.S. economy is almost hinting at the fact that it is not the right time for the Fed to start tapering their $85, or sorry, $85 billion per month uh, quantitative easing program. And if, in fact, they come out and say, this isn't the right time, we are going to keep QE at $85 billion a month, then honestly, you can bet that gold will most likely trade back into its bullish territory and who knows we could have a resumption of this bull market as early as September but honestly crazier things have happened in the past you never know the Fed could come out and say uh, we will taper quantitative easing by five billion dollars a month just to see the reaction on the markets and we could have a huge huge um, you, we could have all the huge short positions come back into the market for gold and silver, and we could see another down leg in this market. So honestly, as you guys have just heard, the price is up 20% in about the past month for gold, and I believe it's more in silver. It's around 25%, I think. Um, so honestly, could this rise continue? Could it just keep going up? in the face of these bad economic, uh, the bad economic data, geopolitical concerns, and other factors at play? Or, you know, have we had the, enough of a rally that uh, some type of down, down move is, you know, should be expected from here? So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, and don't forget to like this video.